Hi there. Thanks for coming to ARC. So today we're going to start a series of drawing lessons. And I am doing this because I think it's very, very important that everybody learns how to draw. Even if you're not going to become an artist, the skill of being able to draw something that you want to show people is really, really helpful. And I have never, ever had a student who couldn't draw. I've had many students who think they can't draw. But after I show them some tricks, these, all my students have turned out to be very good at drawing. So I would like you to stay tuned and I will tell you how we're gonna go about this. So how is it that artists know how to draw well? And you know, scientists have even asked this question, what makes an artist an artist? Why can they draw so well? So they did an experiment. They decided to investigate what it was about artists that helped them to draw well. And they decided maybe it's something in the brain. So they put electrodes on the outside of an artist's brain. And they first started the experiment by chatting with the artist. And the artist talked and talked and was using lots of vocabulary. And they noticed on the little machines that were hooked to the electrodes that the artist was having lots of activity in the left side of the brain. And then they asked the artist to draw for him. And as the artist focused on his drawing and started to draw really well, they saw that the right side of the brain was really lighting up with activity. So they have found that to draw well, people need to in engage the right side of their brain. And that's what we're gonna do in these lessons. I actually have an activity today designed to help you really, really look and engage the right side of your brain. And thanks to the experiment, we know that if you are busy talking when you're trying to do your drawing, you're not gonna draw well. So I'm gonna ask you in these lessons to get as quiet as you can, don't distract your classmates, really focus because that's the trick. Most people who think they can't draw it's not that they can't draw, it's that they do not focus and they don't look carefully. So, stick with me, I'll show you how to do both. Okay, for this activity, you're gonna need your sketchbook, a sharp pencil, and eraser. And you will also need this handout, which you can find in Google Classroom, or I will give you a copy. So, what we're gonna to do today is we are going to draw George Washington just using line only we're not going to draw him this way we are going to draw him upside down we're going to turn our paper upside down which will force us to concentrate on line rather than on naming the eyes the nose and the mouth and drawing them not too well we're going to turn it this way Focus on just the line, and in your sketchbook, you're going to draw it upside down. So let's get started. Here's my page. And today, instead of using a pencil, which is a whole lot easier, I'm going to do it with a marker because that's the only way it'll show up well on the video. So please bear with me. This is not only is it hard to do while I'm talking, it's really hard to do it with a marker. And remember, our goal today is not to make a perfect picture of George Washington. Our goal is to teach our eyes to really look at line and to have our brain shift to the right side so we know what it feels like when we really concentrate and learn to draw well. So I'm gonna start right here. And the trick with observational drawing is to go very slowly. As my eyes are traveling on this line, I am making my hand go. It's kind of like I'm trying to get my hand to be moved by my eyes. Notice how slowly I'm going. Up here, around. Notice what happens to the line It goes in here. I'm not even thinking about what I'm drawing except that I'm drawing a line. If I start to say, oh, I'm drawing George's chin, then it's going to mess me up. 
I'm just going to follow the line back here, goes in here, back again. What I'm doing is called a contour drawing. It's, it's like I'm following the map. Goes up like this, I'm right about here. I get to here, I am going in here. Whoops, my hand jiggled a little bit in here. Around, back down like that for George. Then there's a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here, like that. Okay, then I'm coming back to here, circling around, coming down. You get the picture. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me the whole time, and you will see how it's done. Stay tuned. So let's see how we did. We'll turn George around, and not too bad. You can see one eye is higher up than the other. I missed a few things here. But what I did notice is that when I was really, really focused, I could see only the line. I do, couldn't even tell you if I was drawing his chin here or what I was drawing. I just concentrated on the line. So I hope you will do that. Remember, no cheating. Do not trace it. If you send me a perfect picture, I will know you traced it. Turn it upside down. Draw it upside down. And don't forget, when you're all done, I want you to post me a picture of your work. And even if it's wobbly and lopsided, I bet you you will notice that there are parts that you really did the line very well. So post your picture in the assignment, and I can't wait to see it. Bye-bye.